Marshall Universe Preview Note before watching, the video contains spoilers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Season 10, Episodes 14, Lindong Opening of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash In a flash, numerous people stood in confrontation in the sky. Majestic Yuan power soared up towards the heavens, causing the atmosphere to be strained while sparks swiftly arose from the tense atmosphere. The originally noisy area had also rapidly became deathly silent. The members of many factions stared at the sky as caution appeared within their eyes. They were clearly worried that they would be implicated when the battle started. Chen Goe, are you really intending on interfering with the grudge between my Yuan Gate and the Dao sect? Yuan Kang's expression was a little gloomy as he gazed at Chen Gui who was blocking him. A cold tone was flowing in his low voice. I was assigned this task. Chen Gui merely smiled faintly and said in the face of these threatening words. Lin Dong, our Yuan Gate will be an irreconcilable enemy if you kill Lei Qian. Ling Zhen kept the foldable fan in his hand. His eyes were staring intently at Lin Dong, who had grabbed Lei Qian by the throat, as he slowly spoke. Isn't it already the case now? Lin Dong smiled as he said. His young and somewhat pale face seemed to be unusually cold in the eyes of Ling Zhen and the Yuan Gate disciples. Lin Dong. Are you planning to start a war with our Yuan Gate here? Yuan Kang lowered his eyelids. His hand slowly tightened its grip on his sword. There appeared to be a strange gray glow rising deep within his eyes. Believe me, that ending is not something that you would wish to see. Even with Chen Gui's A. Yuan Kang lifted his face, which could not be considered handsome, after speaking. An unusually dark, cold, and bloodthirsty arc was lifted on his face. Do not force my hand. Otherwise, Chen Gui will not be able to stop me. Lin Dong's pupils shrunk at this moment. He stared at Yuan Kang. For some unknown reason, a slight unease had began swelling in his heart. Oh? In that case, I now really wish to give it a try. Chen Gui laughed faintly. A chilling aura surfaced on his face which was wearing a ghost mask when he heard Yuan Kang's words. Is that so? Yuan Kang's eyes became increasingly dark. Ling Zhen and the others also leaned their bodies forward after appearing to sense the hostility in Yuan Kang's tone. An unusually majestic Yuan power fluctuation spread out in a wave-like manner. In response to this, the faces of Ying Xiaoxiao, Wang Yan and the remaining Dao sect disciples behind Lin Dong immediately tensed up. Bang bang! A rumbling sound was suddenly emitted from the middle of the basin while both parties were facing off against each other in such a hostile atmosphere. Countless eyes were shocked as they turned towards that spot. After which, they saw that a slight distortion had appeared in that space. Numerous unusually ancient halls seemed to vaguely appear within the distorted space. An ancient aura that could only be formed by the accumulation of time seeped out from the space and spread over the entire area. Burning Sky Ancient Stash Many wild joyous exclamations sounded out following the appearance of this usual phenomenon. After which, those many pairs of eyes had suddenly became fiery hot and greedy. They did not gather here to watch a fight between Yuan Gate and Dao Sect. Their aim was the Burning Sky Ancient Stash that was hidden here. Earlier, they had placed their attention on the fight between both parties because they were waiting. Now that the main course had appeared, they had naturally begun to shift their attention. The Ancient Stash is about to appear huh? Lin Dong's narrowed eyes looked towards the distorted space. He did not expect that it would appear at this moment. Although space was being distorted, everyone could see the vaguely visible ancient halls inside. However, this space had yet to show signs of being completely opened. It seemed to be lacking a key. Every gaze in the place was finally thrown towards Yuan Kang without any prior agreement. The reason they had come was because they had obtained news that Yuan Gate would be able to open the ancient stash this time around. Given the situation at this moment, it seemed that it would be up to Yuan Gate to open this ancient stash. Yuan Kang had clearly also sensed the gathering of these gazes. Immediately, his eyes flickered as he spoke indifferently, Lin Dong, our aim this time is the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Only if you release Lei Qian will our Yuan Gate be able to open the Ancient Stash and allow everyone to share the treasures inside. If you continue to be stubborn, it is likely that no one will be able to open this Ancient Stash today. At that time, you will end up angering everyone. I believe that you will not be able to bear this burden. Yuan Kang's words was not spoken stealthily. Instead, it spread loudly under the cover of Yuan power. Finally, it resounded besides everyone's ear. This fellow is really cunning. Ying Xiaoxiao's expression changed a little. This act of Yuan Kang clearly intended to cause Dao Sek to be placed in a position that opposed everyone. Through this, he would force Dao Sek to release Lei Qian. This tactic was really cunning. 
The expressions of Wang Yan and the rest also sunk slightly. This was because they could sense that some gazes were already thrown towards them a short while after Yuan Kang uttered those words. There were few friendly intentions within them. Instead, there was only an impatient urging. Lin Dong, what should we do? Wang Yan asked in a low voice. This situation was such that they were forced to face many due to a single sentence from Yuan Kang. It would not be good if this continued to drag on. Lin Dong knitted his brow slightly as he stared at Yuan Kang. Immediately, he glanced at the red-faced Lei Qian, whose neck was grabbed by him. A moment later, he finally laughed faintly, since brother Yuan Kang is so magnanimous, I will naturally have to give you some face. It was merely a spar earlier. I have no intention of taking any lives. The Yuan Gate disciples' faces involuntarily twitched when they heard these words. They could clearly sense the surging killing intent from Lin Dong earlier. All of them understood that Lin Dong was definitely intent on killing Lei Qian earlier. This was completely different from what he had said. Brother Lin Dong is truly someone who can see the big picture. A smile surfaced on Yuan Kang's face. However, this smile was filled with a kind of extremely dark and malicious feeling no matter how one looked at it. Since this is the case, please release Lei Qian. Consider yourself victorious in this spar. It was likely that Yuan Kang was definitely suppressing a violent anger and murderous intent when uttering these words. Given his status, there were hardly anyone amongst the younger generation of the Eastern Chuan region whom he regarded seriously. There was even less need to talk about lowering himself in this manner. However, Yuan Kang was after all an extraordinary person. Even though his heart was suppressing his killing intent, a smile had still surfaced on his face. However, this smile caused one's hair to stand on ends. Lin Dong tilted his head as he watched Yuan Kang. Immediately, he smiled brilliantly and nodded. Everyone were involuntarily a little speechless when they saw this. From a certain point of view, both parties were the type of people with great patience. They were aware that an old tiger that bared its fangs was not frightening. The one that was frightening was a poisonous snake that could lay quietly in ambush and wait to deliver a fatal blow. Lin Dong and Yuan Kang seemed to belong in this category. How unfortunate. Lin Dong glanced at Lei Qian, whom he held in his hand. The corners of his mouth curled. He ceased hesitating and casually tossed Lei Qian aside. However, no one discovered that an unusual black glow had quietly entered Lei Qian's body when Lin Dong's hand removed itself from Lei Qian's throat. Lei Qian, who was tossed aside by Lin Dong, was quickly rescued by a couple of Yuan Gate disciples. After which, those unusually vicious eyes on his pale face stared intently at Lin Dong. A roar emerged from his throat, Lin Dong, once you land in my hands, I will make it such that you will beg for death. However, Lin Dong merely smiled faintly in the face of Lei Qian's vicious roar. It was as though he did not hear anything. All of us have really underestimated you. The smile on Yuan Kang's face withdrew slightly when he saw Lin Dong release Lei Qian. After which, he began to slowly speak. You are the most difficult person from Dao Sect to deal with this time around. You are too kind. Lin Dong laughed. His appearance infuriated Lei Qian to the point that the latter had the impulse to spit out blood. A dark look also surged onto the little spirit King Ling Zhen's face. Only little Yuan King Yuan Kang continued to have an impassive face. However, the great sect competition will not end so easily this time around. Lin Dong, trust me when I say that you will pay the price. Yuan Kang stared at Lin Dong and spoke with a faint smile. Lin Dong nodded while sharing the same thought. A brilliant smile had also surged onto his face at this moment. His subsequent words, however, caused Yuan Kang's expression to involuntarily become ugly despite his willpower. If you have finished your nonsense, can you please open the ancient stash? Lin Dong, do you really think that you can act arrogantly before our Yuan Gate just because you have defeated Lei Qian once? Little Spirit King Ling Zhen cried out coldly. His face had once again darkened when he heard Lin Dong's words. A sinister chill had also surged onto Yuan Kang's indifferent face. Immediately, however, it was forcefully suppressed. Both of his eyes contained an intensely cold look as he stared at Lin Dong. After which, he waved his hand towards Ling Zhen, turned around and left. There will ultimately be a time to pay you back for the victory you gained through words. Hopefully, you will still be able to laugh at that time. Yuan Kang turned around. However, his dark and cold voice, which contained a rich murderous desire was transmitted backwards. Everyone could tell that this most outstanding person amongst the young disciples of Yuan Gate had been infuriated by Lin Dong. Ling Zhen and the other Yuan Gate disciples also stared at Lin Dong's group with maliciously cold eyes. After which, they turned around and followed Yuan Kang. 
Only after the withdrawal of the Yuan Gate disciples did the hostile atmosphere gradually disappear. Quite a number of Dao sect disciples relaxed their tightly clenched hands. Perspiration was present on their palms. Although they felt a little anxious in their hearts, their eyes could not hide their excitement. Dao sect had fought with Yuan Gate many times over the years. However, they had never felt as greatly satisfied as today. Are you alright? Ying Huan Wan also secretly sighed in relief when she saw Yuan Gate withdraw. She kept the heavenly phoenix zither in her embrace. At the same time, she glanced at the somewhat pale Lin Dong as a worried look involuntarily flashed across her large eyes. I have exhausted myself a little too greatly, but it won't hinder me much. Lin Dong shook his head slightly. This fight was not considered a relaxing one for him. Lei Qian did indeed live up to his reputation of being one of the three little kings of Yuan Gate. If it was not because Lin Dong had reversed the rotation of the ancient universe formation, it was likely that he would have difficulty defeating the lat. However, we can be considered to have completely fallen out with them. So be it. I was originally planning on trying to peacefully get through this great sect competition. However, Yuan Gate has picked on us since the beginning. Giving in too much at times will result in an opposite effect. Ying Xiao Xiao sighed softly. During this journey, she had finally become aware that the grudge between Yuan Gate and Dao's sect was already quite deep. Attempting to avoid it was really too idealistic. Lin Dong silently nodded. He did not intend on purposefully and completely angering Yuan Gate. However, the latter was too domineering in their actions. Sometimes, things could not be avoided just by giving in. Everyone should be careful when we enter the Burning Sky Ancient Stash later. Lin Dong reminded everyone. For some unknown reason, he had the feeling that this Burning Sky Ancient Stash was not simple. It was likely that its interior was not as peaceful as those ancient treasure troves he had encountered in the past. Brother Chen Goei, I will have to trouble you to take care of my little sister when the time comes. Lin Dong glanced at the lady in black beside him before speaking to Chen Goei. The current me does not need you to worry about such things. King Ten frowned a little. Clearly, she was very displeased that Lin Dong was still treating her like her completely helpless self of the past. However, her protest clearly failed to obtain any result. Lin Dong merely glanced at her and ignored her. He he, brother Lin Dong, you can be rest assured. Master had sternly warned me not to allow any accident to happen to Junior Sister when we left. Chen Gui smilingly nodded. Lin Dong smiled. After which, he lifted his gaze. Those disciples from Yuan Gate had already gathered in front of the distorted space a great distance to their front. After which, Yuan Kang, who was leading them, slowly stepped forward in front of countless fiery hot eye. They do indeed possess a method to open the ancient stash huh? Lin Dong muttered. His brows twitched when he saw this scene. Yuan Kang clenched his hand in front of numerous gazes as a fiery red glow appeared in his hand. Within that cluster of light appeared to be a burning flame. Yuan Kang tossed with his hand. That cluster of red glowing flame left his hand. After which, it was accompanied by a fiery tail as it directly shot towards the distorted space. Sizzle sizzle. The fire made contact with the distorted space. Immediately, circular fiery red glow began to fluctuate and spread. Soon after, everyone watched as the distorted space began to slowly crack apart. After tearing the distorted space, an endless fiery light appeared. An extremely ancient aura was emitted from it. It appeared as though they had returned to a prehistoric land. Bang! Following the tearing of this distorted space, the atmosphere had also suddenly become fiery hot. Those countless gazes had become extremely hot at this moment. The Burning Sky Ancient Stash was an extremely renowned ancient treasure ground in Unique Devil region. It was rumored that there were not only many powerful ancient martial arts in it, but also natural treasures and quite a number of precious objects left behind from ancient times. Amongst them were even pure Yuan treasures. These rumors were sufficient to cause many to covet this ancient stash. In the past, no one was able to open this Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Therefore, they were powerless even though they coveted it. Now, however, this ancient stash was about to be opened. Hence, the greed within everyone's hearts became just like a tiger having fled its cage as it came pouring out. Swoosh! The silence merely lasted for a moment before a rushing wind sound suddenly appeared. Numerous human figures near the torn space had charged anxiously towards the opened ancient stash. Yuan Kang's eyes were indifferent as he watched these human figures anxiously charging in. However, he did not show any signs of stopping them. Let's wait first. Lin Dong's eyes hardened. He waved his hand and stopped the Dao sect disciples who were similarly a little anxious. Countless figures had already charged into the bright red world when Lin Dong extended his hand to stop the Dao sect disciples. 
However, the instant their bodies entered, they suddenly began to ignite in a strange manner. Immediately, miserable cries were emitted from the bright red space, causing the expression of numerous onlookers to change. Many human figures quickly turned into fireballs. In the end, they scattered, appearing as though they had turned into ashes. This sudden scene was just like a basin of cold water that directly extinguished everyone's greed. Horror appeared in many people's eyes. It seemed that this burning sky ancient stash was not a place that everyone could enter. The Yuan Gate disciple at the front had suddenly begun to pull back as a large group. Finally, only a couple of dozen figures remained. The auras of these figures were all quite powerful. All of them, without exception, had stepped into the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. These 8 Yuan Nirvana stage disciples directly flew into the burning sky ancient stash under Yuan Kang's lead. This time around, no miserable screams were emitted. Clearly, their strength had all reached the level where they could endure the fiery heat. 8 Yuan Nirvana stage disciples will follow us into the burning sky ancient stash. Everyone else will quietly remain here. Ying Xiaoxiao immediately made a decision when she saw this scene and announced in a low voice. Some disciples from Dao sect involuntarily felt disappointed when they heard these words. However, they also understood that if they were to forcefully charge in without sufficient strength, it was likely that their fates would be the same as those few unlucky fellows earlier, becoming ashes that remained in this place. Clearly, this made it easier for people to accept this decision. The Dao sect disciples swiftly separated themselves. There were similarly dozens of disciples at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Truth be told, Lin Dong's exterior strength was the weakest amongst them. Of course, no one would genuinely think that this strength of his on the surface was his true strength. After a short chaos in this sky, many factions also began selecting their elite disciples. After which, rushing wind sound appeared. Numerous human figures were thrown into the bright red world like locusts. This time around, something like being burned into ashes did not occur. Let's go. After seeing that the selection of disciples have completed, Lin Dong ceased procrastinating any longer. He cried out softly and his body took the lead to rush forward. The disciples from Dao sect immediately followed closely behind him. Dozens of light figures rushed through the sky. The bright red world behind the distorted space also began to rapidly magnify in Lin Dong's eyes. Lin Dong also inhaled a deep breath of searing hot air the moment he entered. Both of his eyes had an excited expression flashing across them. He similarly possessed a rather great interest in this burning sky ancient stash. Of course. What he really wanted to know was how the light token, which he had obtained from melting the copper cauldron, was related to this burning sky ancient stash. When Lin Dong entered the distorted space, he could clearly sense a kind of extremely wild and violent heat suddenly erupt from within his body. The heat appeared to be attempting to ignite his body. Humphrey. The unexpected change in his body did not cause Lin Dong to feel any panic. Although the heat was wild and violent, it was clearly not considered troublesome to someone like him who was already prepared. A thought immediately passed through his mind as majestic Yuan power surged and directly suppressed the heat. While Lin Dong was suppressing that heat ripple within his body, he suddenly discovered some signs of chaos in the surrounding space. After which, he was surprised to discover that Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest, who had originally entered the burning sky ancient stash with him, had actually disappeared at this moment. Caution swiftly surfaced within his eyes while vast and mighty Yuan power circulated quietly. He quickly began to scan his surroundings. The scene that appeared before him was not the expected cluster of ancient walls. Instead, it was a bright red land. A wave of heat rose from the ground, causing the air to feel a little distorted. Is this the burning sky ancient stash? Lin Dong knitted his brows slightly as he watched this bright red magma-like land before him. Soon after, his body slowly descended. When his feet touched the ground, wild and scorching energy immediately invaded his body. It made one feel somewhat irritable. The irritation in his heart was immediately discovered by Lin Dong. He quickly circulated his devouring power and completely devoured the scorching energy within his body. Something is wrong. Lin Dong muttered to himself. He looked at the vast bright red land. There was no one else but him here. The number of people who entered previously was rather substantial. From the looks of it, this burning sky ancient stash was not simple. Those who hoped to find treasures immediately after entering would be disappointed. Since I have already arrived, I shall see just what kind of tricks this ancient stash can play. Lin Dong's eyes gazed into the distance. Soon after, he started to walk forward with a smile, directly heading towards the distant bright red land. As Lin Dong walked, he observed countless gullies of various sizes on the bright red land. It appeared as though countless great battles had occurred here in the past. 
One could even see some broken weapons within the bright red sand. It was a place that seemed to give off an aura of desolation. Seems like a big war had occurred in this place. Lin Dong slowly walked for over a dozen minutes before he began to frown slightly. The scars on the ground made him understand that an extremely intense battle had definitely occurred in this land. Is this a test of the burning sky ancients dash? Lin Dong discovered a scorching energy seemed to permeate this land which caused one to become unusually irritated. However, this energy did not cause any trouble for Lin Dong who possessed devouring power. I wonder how Huan Wan, King Tan and the rest are doing. Lin Dong walked for quite a while in this aimless manner before curling his mouth as this thought flashed across his mind. Russell. When this thought had flashed across Lin Dong's mind, some faint footstep sounds were suddenly heard from somewhere nearby. He immediately lifted his head, only to see a petite figure miserably approaching from within the sand-filled wind. Kington? Lin Dong was startled when he saw that familiar petite figure. Soon after, he rejoiced. Big Brother Lin Dong. At this moment, the delicate little figure had also seen Lin Dong. Joy quickly surged up her pretty face. After which, she swiftly dashed towards Lin Dong. Lin Dong watched Kington as she dashed over. A smile had also surfaced on his face. However, this smile had only lasted for a moment before it suddenly stiffened. This was because there was a cold glint flickering within Kington's hand as she pounced towards his chest. Chi. That dagger which flickered with a cold light formed a tricky arc as it stabbed at Lin Dong's throat. Just as he was about to be stabbed, Lin Dong's expression darkened. A palm that contained a majestic force slammed into Kington's body. Bnag. A deep sound rang out as Kington's body flew backwards. However, it crumbled when it landed, and a cluster of bright red fog rose up before attempting to tunnel into the ground to flee. However, Lin Dong was even faster. A thread of devouring power light shot out from his finger just before the fog could reach the ground. It formed a net that trapped the fog. The bright red fog attempted to escape and frantically rammed into the net. However, the fog became increasingly weak after a few collisions. Lin Dong's eyes were indifferent as he watched the weakening bright red fog. He could sense that there was no consciousness within. These things seemed to be rather mysterious. Puff. An expression of deep thought flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. After which, he pinched the cluster of bright red fog, destroying it. He once again raised his head, a grave look in his eyes as he stared at the bright red realm. The originally ordinary land appeared to possess a trace of strangeness at this moment. This place. Just what exactly is this place? Lin Dong's eyes held a malicious coldness within them. The scene from earlier was far too strange. I seem to have been trapped. Lin Dong muttered to himself. A cold light immediately flashed across his eyes. He once again lifted his foot and walked forward. He was interested to find out just what this damn place wanted to do. Lin Dong continued to roam around the bright red realm. The situation that followed did not exceed his expectations. After Kington's appearance, Ying Huan Wan, Ying Xiao Xiao, Wang Yan and the rest appeared one after another. However, all of them would attack Lin Dong the moment they appeared. Although they did not manage to injure Lin Dong, it caused a nefarious flame to gradually rise in his heart. This damned place seemed to be creating these people to attack him based on his memory. Bang! Lin Dong once again blasted another imposter apart. His expression had become exceptionally gloomy. These things seemed to come at him endlessly, and he was unable to stop the cycle no matter how many times he attacked. Are there more? Lin Dong suddenly raised his head after blasting another figure apart. Yet another figure had vaguely appeared in the distorted space a short distance to his front. A moment later, it fully appeared within Lin Dong's sight. Soon after, his face involuntarily began to twitch. This was because the one who had appeared this time was Lin Kuangju. This is never going to end. Lin Dong's expression was dark. He took the initiative as he body rushed forward. A fist struck forward and a majestic force blasted towards the figure that appeared a short distance away with at lightning speed. The beautiful figure which had just appeared was clearly a little startled when it saw that it was attacked the moment it appeared. With mysterious yet graceful footwork, it dodged the fist. A? Eh? Lin Dong was momentarily stunned when he saw that his attack had been avoided. He quickly laughed coldly, their intelligence seems to be increasing huh? Lin Dong had already approached the figure after his voice sounded out. At this distance, he could already see Lin Kuangju's pretty face which was hidden behind a veil. He had even captured the latter's slight frown in his eyes. Bang! However, this did not stop Lin Dong from attacking. His formidable palm attack mercilessly slammed struck at Lin Kuangju. A furious expression seemed to flash across Lin Kuangju's face upon seeing Lin Dong continue to attack. She lifted her jade-like hand. 
It contained Mighty Yuan power as it collided head-on with Lin Dong's attack. Bang! Mighty Yuan power rippled outwards, and even the ground was split apart. The unprepared Lin Dong also hurriedly took over a dozen steps back. Immediately, his face filled with surprise. Why did the imposter that appeared this time around possess such strength? What are you doing? The figure opposite him had already knitted her brows while Lin Dong was stunned. There was an additional trace of fury within her cold voice. You can speak? Lin Dong was once again taken aback. Immediately, he seemed to have thought of something and his expression turned ugly, you are the real Lin Kuangju? Lin Kuangju looked at Lin Dong with a strange expression. After which, she slowly nodded. Upon seeing this, embarrassment immediately surfaced on Lin Dong's face. It was likely that he was aware of the great amount of face he had lost. Previously, I encountered quite a number of illusions that were created by this realm. They were all people whom I am acquainted with. After which, Lin Dong was a little embarrassed as he looked at the beautiful lady before him. He spread his hands outwards and explained himself. Lin Kuangju glanced at Lin Dong. After which, she gently inclined her head. She did not have any intention of making a fuss over this matter. You didn't meet any? Lin Dong was a little puzzled by her reaction. He immediately knitted his brows slightly and inquired. Those illusions earlier caused him to feel extremely irritated. Although they did not cause him any actual harm, the feeling of being attacked by people he knew with was not pleasant at all. You're overthinking. Lin Kuangju's eyes were a little strange as she stared at Lin Dong. After which, she answered calmly. What? Lin Dong was momentarily stunned. He was unable to make sense of Lin Kuangju's words. Lin Kuangju involuntarily lifted her eyebrows when she saw Lin Dong's somewhat lost expression. She spoke indifferently, after so many years, you seem to have lost your intelligence from before? There is clearly a formation within this burning sky ancient stash and we are all trapped within it. Although I do not know what formation it is. There are many things here that are not created by it, rather, they are created from one's heart. Illusion and reality have been mixed together. It is rather mysterious. Lin Dong slowly frowned. He was not stupid. He began to come to a realization after hearing Lin Kuangju's words. You are saying that those illusions appeared only because I let my imagination run wild. Lin Kuangju nodded and said, calm your heart and focus your mind. These illusions will naturally fall apart without any need to attack. The reason you met those illusions is because you did not control your thoughts. Lin Dong was speechless. He did not expect that those troublesome things actually originated from himself. Now that he thought about it, that first illusion seemed to have appeared when he was worried about Kington and the rest. It is quite a strange formation. I never expected that it was actually capable of such feats. Lin Dong voiced his thoughts. Although Lin Kuangju made it sound simple, just how many people could truly calm one's heart until it became as quiet as still water? Even with Lin Dong's character, he had fallen into the trap after entering this place, much less others. After all, not everyone possessed Lin Kuangju's icy cold character. This formation's illusions are only a form of hindrance. There is a mysterious and scorching energy permeating this realm. Once that energy invades one's body, it would affect one's mind and result in one losing control and turning crazy. Lin Kuangju glanced at Lin Dong in a strange manner after she mentioned this point. This was because the latter seemed to be unaffected by the scorching energy. Lin Dong spread his hands. Since he had the devouring ancestral symbol to guard his body, that so-called scorching energy would be devoured once it entered his body. Hence, he did not face any troubles in this aspect. In that case, is the place we are currently at an illusion or reality? Lin Dong's feet lightly prodded the bright red ground, causing some dust to float upwards as he spoke. This is the most peculiar aspect of this formation. It causes one to be unable to distinguish between reality and illusion. Lin Kuangju gently shook her head. She had also roamed around this place for some time. However, she had yet to find a way to escape. No matter what kind of formation it is, there must be a central hub. If we can reach it, we should be able to find a way to break this formation. Lin Dong lifted his head. His eyes narrowed as he looked to the front and said. The space here is distorted. Can you locate the central hub? Lin Kuangju knitted her brows. She was similarly aware of this fact. However, this realm had been distorted by the formation. If they randomly roamed around, they would only end up being stuck in this formation forever. I should be able to. If you trust me, you can follow me. After all, it must be fate for us to meet here. Lin Dong smiled. After which, he lifted his foot and walked into the distance. Although the bearings of this space had been shielded by this formation, Lin Dong was still able to rely on the mysterious stone talisman within him to sense an extremely obscure ripple from a certain direction. 
Ling Quanji gazed at Lin Dong's back. She hesitated for a moment before finally following him. This place was quite strange. Hence, she naturally did not wish to give up if there was a way to escape. However, following Lin Dong in this manner felt a little unnatural for her. The two of them journeyed across the bright red land. However, they did not talk much. From a certain point of view, the relationship between the two was a little complicated. This complication clearly caused the two of them to be unable to treat the other party as an ordinary friend. This somewhat silent atmosphere lasted for nearly half an hour. Lin Dong led the way at the front. He relied on the stone talisman in his body to continuously sense the obscure ripple that was being emitted from this strange space. Lin Quanju quietly followed behind Lin Dong. Occasionally, her eyes would drift towards the back of the skinny figure in front of her. These five years had caused the latter to undergo quite a dramatic change. How is Lin Langshan currently doing? Lin Quanju suddenly spoke after a long silence. Lin Dong's footsteps buzzed. He turned his head and asked with a faint smile, Why do you suddenly ask about him? Lin Quanju did not reply. She merely stared at Lin Dong with her clear eyes. She had remembered the high, mighty and indifferent attitude that Lin Langshan had when facing Lin Dong in the ancient tomb at Great Yan Empire five years ago. At that time, it was likely that Lin Langshan would have never imagined that the weak young man whom he looked down on, would have reached this level five years later. He joined the Hundred Empire War together with me. However, he was killed by me at atop the Hundred Empire Mountain. Lin Dong said with a flat voice. I guess you can say that he was someone that you wanted to surpass in the past, right? You are truly persistent. Once you have set a target, you will definitely surpass him. Perhaps I have also become your target after our separation at the mountaintop back then? I truly do not know if I should feel honored or uneasy. Lin Quanju spoke in a soft and slow voice. Lin Langshan seriously wounded my father back then and there was a deep enmity between us. You and him are different. Lin Dong frowned and said. Those words that I said to you back then had hurt your pride. Don't you hate me for it? Lin Quanju smiled faintly and said. It was the truth. Without sufficient strength, emphasizing too much on one's pride will only cause others to mock you. Moreover, at that time, I must have seemed like a toad one in your eyes. Lin Dong shrugged and replied. You do not truly mean what you say. There is quite a great deal of resentment in your words. Lin Quanju laughed for a moment. After which, she said. I do not care whether you hate me or not. I will still repeat those words even if I was given another chance. However, I do admire you for reaching this stage within a short five years. The lips under Lin Quanju's veil were lifted when she spoke these words. This was because she was clearly aware of the starting point of this young man in front of her. This was the reason why she felt surprised at the latter's current achievements. Otherwise, in her eyes, Lin Dong's rather formidable strength would still be insufficient to command her sincere respect. Of course, even if he really reached such a stage, she would merely smile at him. A woman with her character was just like an impregnable city. Regardless of how much one coveted her and tried, they would only end up defeated. Such a woman was perhaps the most difficult creature in the world to conquer. How rare! You actually know how to admire others. Lin Dong lifted his brows slightly. He watched Lin Quanju's pretty face, which was covered by a veil. His mouth teased while a rare joy surged within his heart. Even someone like him was moved by the fact that he was able to make the cool Lin Quanju utter such words. Lin Quanju laughed faintly. It was likely that someone with her intelligence was naturally aware that the young man in front of her would likely possess some alpha male feelings within his heart when he heard her words. Therefore, she did not give Lin Dong the chance to continue as she faced him with indifference. Lin Dong smiled and withdrew his gaze when he saw this. After which, he narrowed both of his eyes and looked at the distorted space in front. He focused his eyes slightly and said, It seems like we are about to arrive at our destination. Oh? A shocked expression flashed across Lin Kuan Ju's face when she heard these words. She lifted her eyes and looked over. She appeared to see some vague figures standing in the distant distorted space. The two increased their pace. After a couple of minutes, those black standing figures finally appeared in front of them. It was a rather large stone altar. The altar gave off an ancient feeling. It was likely that it had existed for quite a long time. This place is the central hub of the entire realm. Lin Dong stared at the huge stone altar and softly said. Lin Quanju's eyes also looked towards the large stone altar in front of her. Her eyes suddenly shrunk as she said, there's someone there. Her eyes immediately looked towards the other side of the huge stone altar after her voice sounded. Some faint sounds of footsteps were transmitted over from that spot. Soon after, three figures slowly appeared. Finally, they appeared in both her and Lin Dong's sight. 
It seems like enemies frequently crossing paths. Lin Dong's eyes gradually turned gloomy when he saw the three familiar figures. That was because those three figures were the three little kings of Yuan Gate. The Yuan Kang trio had clearly seen Lin Dong when the latter discovered them. Immediately, a stunned expression flashed across their faces. Soon after, a sinisterly cold expression and mockery slowly surfaced. In their eyes, Lin Dong had undoubtedly delivered himself to their doorstep. Sha Sha! The Yuan Kang trio slowly appeared from the other side of the altar. In the end, they stopped some distance away from Lin Dong. Yuan Kang's face was indifferent. Only when he saw Ang Kuang beside Lin Dong, did a faint disturbance appear in his eyes. However, soon after, his eyes turned increasingly dark and solemn as he stared at Lin Dong. Lin Dong, it seems like even the heavens do not wish to give you an easy time. How long has it been? To think that you have actually sent yourself directly to our doorstep. Little Thunder King Lei Qian's gaze was filled with bitter resentment as he stared at Lin Dong. His expression was still a little pale, however, it was much better than before. Clearly, he had brought along some extremely effective healing medicine. Little Spirit King Lang Zhen gaze was also a little ominous as he stared at Lin Dong. The foldable fan in his hand shook gently. Overall, he looked as though he had come with ill intent. Lin Dong stared at the Yuan Kang trio as his expression turned a little ugly. Clearly, he had not expected to actually encounter them here. This was definitely not an ideal situation for him. If the Yuan Kang trio were to join forces, it would definitely be very difficult. Your ability to locate this place has truly taken me by surprise. Yuan Kang looked at Lin Dong. He did not attack immediately. Instead, he merely spoke in an indifferent voice. They were able to reach this place quickly because they held quite a lot of information related to the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. However, Yuan Kang did not expect that Lin Dong would actually reach this place soon after they arrived. This is where the central hub that controls this formation is located, right? Lin Dong shrugged. His gaze turned towards that large stone altar as he spoke. Lin Dong's eyes narrowed slightly as he sized up the large stone altar. His finger involuntarily drew past his palm. He could sense that the stone talisman within his body was emitting a strange fluctuation at this moment. This altar. Lin Dong lifted his head and his gaze turned towards the sky above the altar. The space there appeared to be bright red in color. His eyes flickered as though he sensed something. Kuangju, how are you? While Lin Dong was observing the area, Yuan Kang's eyes turned towards Ling Kuangju as a gentle smile surfaced on his face. Though he was not very handsome, his face had a unique taste to it. When he smiled, it gave one a refreshing feeling. Ling Kuangju inclined her head. She glanced at Lin Dong beside her and said, Does senior brother Yuan Kang know where we are now? This is the burning sky ray of the burning sky ancient stash. It is the guardian of the ancient stash. Everyone who enters the ancient stash will fall into this burning sky ray. Ha ha. However, this burning sky ray has yet to be activated. Otherwise, even we will not be able to reach this place. Yuan Kang spoke smilingly. Burning sky ray. Lin Dong's eyes focused slightly. This formation was already so powerful before it had been activated? What if it was activated? Just how powerful would it be then? Currently, everyone who entered the Burning Sky Ancient Stash has been trapped in this Burning Sky Ray. Don't worry, Kuangju. After I take control of the formation, I will ensure that the disciples from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace will not face any harm. Yuan Kang laughed. Of course, some creatures that do not know how to appreciate kindness will likely be burned into ashes in this burning sky ray. Lei Qian laughed sinisterly. Lin Dong's expression immediately turned dark and cold when he heard these words. His eyes were maliciously dark as he stared at Yuan Kang trio and said, If anything happens to my Dao sect disciples, I'm afraid that your Yuan Gate disciples can forget about walking out of this unique devil region alive. Such arrogant words. Even Zhou Tong back then wasn't as arrogant as you. Just who do you think you are? Ling Zhen's eyes turned cold as he laughed chillingly. It is unexpected that you still have the courage to utter such haughty words at this moment. Don't tell me that you think that the current you actually possess the qualifications to behave in such an arrogant fashion? A cold smile also surfaced on Yuan Kang's face as he stared at Lin Dong and mocked. Boss, let's finish off this brat here to prevent any further troubles. Lei Qian laughed sinisterly. His eyes were filled with bitterness and resentment. A chill flickered within Yuan Kang's eyes. Immediately, he nodded slightly. Now that Lin Dong had coincidentally landed in their laps, it was the best opportunity for them to finish him off. Killing intent surged within Lei Qian and Ling Zhen's eyes when they saw Yuan Kang nod. Their bodies immediately moved and formed a semicircle formation, surrounding Lin Dong in the process. 
From the looks of it, they intended to join hands and swiftly finish off Lin Dong. Lin Dong's expression sunk slightly as he watched this scene, while the Yuan power within his body began to circulate. With his current strength, a battle against Lei Qian alone was already difficult. Now that the three little kings of Yuan Gate were going to join forces, regardless of how much confidence he had, he knew that this was not going to be easy. The Yuan Kang trio floated up in the air. An unusually majestic Yuan power fluctuation slowly swept out as a heavy pressure covered Lin Dong. Lin Dong waved his hand and a demon corpse appeared in front of him. Now that it came to this, it was likely that he had to use his various trump cards. Just as Lin Dong took out his demon corpse and prepared to engage in a massive fight with the three little kings, a fragrant breeze blew from behind him. He was stunned to see Lang Kuangju suddenly move to stand in front of him. Kuangju? What does this mean? Yuan Kang demanded in a deep voice. His eyes changed when he saw Lang Kuangju standing in front of Lin Dong. Senior brother Yuan Kang, the reason I was able to come to this place is because Lin Dong was leading the way, hence, I owe him a favor. Therefore, if you wish to attack him now, I am afraid that I will not idly stand by. Lin Kuangju's veil trembled slightly. Her cool voice appeared to have suppressed even the heat of this place. When that alluring voice was transmitted into Lin Dong's ears, even he was stunned. Clearly, he did not expect that Lin Kuangju would actually voluntarily step forward. Moreover, her reason for helping him clearly did not possess much conviction. This was because Lin Dong still owed her from five years ago. Yuan Kang's expression gradually turned unusually dark and solemn. There appeared to be a thunderbolt of fury surging deep within his eyes. Lin Kuangju had actually stepped forward to protect Lin Dong. This clearly a blow to his usually indifferent self. Ling Zhen and Lei Qian also glanced at Yuan Kang at this moment. They were clearly aware that the latter fancied Lin Kuangju. Although there was no progress between the two of them during these two years, Yuan Kang undoubtedly saw Lin Kuangju as his woman. Yet, Lin Kuangju had stepped forward to protect Lin Dong. The two of them exchanged glances before they chuckled coldly. They knew that it might still all right if Lin Kuangju did not step forward. Now that she did, it was likely that Yuan Kang would definitely kill Lin Dong. Lin Dong, are you going to hide behind a woman? Yuan Kang stared at Lin Dong in a dark and solemn manner as he slowly said. Lin Dong's eyes were a little dark. He sighed softly a moment later before he slowly walked past Lin Kuangju. Lin Kuangju knitted her brows slightly as she watched Lin Dong walk past her. She spoke in a faint voice, after these five years of training, you should understand the importance of survival even more than I do. Trying to act tough for a moment may salvage your pride, but from the way I see it, it is extremely short-sighted. It is likely that I will have to withdraw the compliment I gave you previously. Lin Dong's footsteps paused. He silently contemplated for a moment before turning around. As he looked at the veiled face, which could cause the downfall of a country, he smilingly replied, didn't you ask me how I was able to reach such a place in merely five years? The answer is very simple. It was because I told myself back then I will only allow a woman to save me once in my life. Additionally, I do not like to act tough. I know how powerful the three of them are. However, you should also know that the current me is also no longer that weak fellow from five years ago. If they want to kill me, the price to pay will be so expensive that they will not be able to afford it. Lin Kuangju gazed at the young man as a grin appeared on his face. Her pearly white teeth gently bit her lips. The young man from back then was petty and weak. When faced a Ling Langshan he could not contend against, he chose to swallow his pride and endure humiliation. Ultimately however, he let reality tell those people that the one who had the final laugh, was the one who was the most successful. The reason why she showed compassion to Lin Dong and gave up on killing this young man, who had disgraced her, was not because she had discovered a stunning potential within him. Neither was it because of pity. The biggest reason was because of the tolerance that this young man displayed when he was unable to contend against Lin Langshan. She could see Lin Dong's current success. However, from his words, she could also sense the various bitterness concealed within those years of training. Lin Kuangju clear eyes drooped slightly as she withdrew the complicated emotions within her eyes. Finally, she shook her head and did not say anything. A price we cannot afford? Are you certain you are not crazy? Yuan Kang looked down at Lin Dong from high above and sneered. However, Lin Dong merely smiled faintly and nodded in the face of his sneer. His hands were clenched under his sleeve. Two grey stone beads had quietly appeared between his slender fingers as an obscure fluctuation that could not be described quietly surged. I am certain. Do you want to give it a try? Lin Dong lifted his head, a brilliant smile on his face as he stared at the Yuan Kang trio. Craziness faintly surged within his smile, 